So there are two sides to that question, the Balkan side and the EU side. So for the Western Balkan countries, the main challenges are reform, especially in rule of law. There are a lot of deficiencies in the judiciary, in the kinds of laws that have been passed and how well they're implemented by state institutions. Uh, and the fight against corruption is incredibly important, as is increasing the tolerance and the civil rights of citizens of these countries. Uh, on the EU side, their challenge is to make keep the European Union interested in their accession. So there's a lot going on right now in terms of European integration, many challenges. So the fear is that European leaders won't have enough attention as well as money left to help them exceed. So Croatia has already entered the European Union and a lot of my research has shown just how beneficial it is for countries to join the EU. So in terms of their economies, all the different ways that being part of the internal market helps them grow, uh, the influx of foreign direct investment, but also of knowledge and um, know-how. So Croatia is having some economic difficulties now and also some political difficulties, but overall, the, being in the EU is still extremely beneficial for Croatia. What we see is that we tend to see a lot of moderation among political party leaders and parties themselves in the run-up to EU accession. So because countries want to join, they're subject to conditionality, and part of that conditionality is being kind of tolerant and not extreme nationalist. So we see the moderation in parties before accession and then after accession in a number of countries, including Croatia, we've unfortunately seen a kind of polarization between what I would call the progressive, um, the progressive tolerant parties and those that <coughs> tend to um, be very conservative and nationalist.